Good morning and welcome to this edition of Adam Where Art Thou. Today I want you to look at this illustration. And the title of this talk or this illustration is Life's Temptation is Like a Life Lived in a Pig's Pen. The second time, just this morning, look at this picture and let me bring it to life for you. For me, I remember living my life just like a little piglet who wanted to get dirty wanted to get dirty and eat and eat slop life slop that the world was offering me and i stayed in the pig pen i lived a life thinking that this was the way to live but not realizing where i was actually putting all my focus on it was not a life for me to live it's not a life that god intended for me to live so as I look at this illustration, the first thing I see that we know that it's a pig pen. We know when it goes on in the pig pen. If you've ever been on a farm, you understand the whole process and the purpose of a pig. Not only to eat the pig, but also for him to be a disposal. You know, a waste disposal. When, you, when we, when I was growing up, we used to go, when we went to the farm, we used to get all the slop. Any food that was left over that we didn't want to eat, we collected it in a, in a bucket and we took it out to the pigs. And that was our, you know, natural garbage disposal because a pig would eat anything. And I used to watch the pig. The pig always would just wallow and, and just be dirty, honking, honking all around, honk, 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 honk. And all of them would just gather together. When they saw the slop, man, they were really excited. And I used to sit there and just watch them eat and watch them not even be bothered by the mud. The muddy it was, they loved it. They loved being in the, in the mud. They loved to be covered. And I don't ever remember my time being on a farm that we ever watched a pig. You know what I'm saying? We never gave a pig a bath and wanted it to be clean. But, you know, and it's cute. When you see a little piglet, it, oh, man, they are so cute. It's just that when they stay there, it's just when they start acting really crazy. Well, my life was like that. My life was like that. I allowed myself to to live in a, in a, in a pen. I had my own way of thinking, the way I wanted to live, that I thought would be best for me. And whatever was served to me, and that's what I ate. You know what I'm saying? And it could be, it's all kind of things that life would offer you. And they put it in a bucket. And a lot of times we have to be careful what we're eating out of a bucket that life gives us. Some of it is good food. Some of it is bad food. Some of it is rotten. You know what I'm saying? Some of it can make you sick. Some of it can cause problems um, with your health. You know? And as I looked at my life, <laughs> sitting down there today, and I was like, man, for all these years I was thinking, God, how Lord, you actually took me out of a pig's pen. I got so used to being in the pig's pen, things I was, things I was doing, you know, and participating in. It was getting dirty and didn't even realize I went in clean, but I came out dirty, came out filthy and was getting used to the mud, getting used to the filth, getting used to eating garbage. You know what I'm saying? And acting like a pig. <laughs> Until one day, I remember when I just was tired. What I was doing and getting involved with, it would keep me up late at night. It would keep me on the streets. It was like a drug. And the more I had it, the more I wanted more and more and more to consume me. For all that was covered with mud. I got so tired of just living that way, the same old routine. It was like eating slop every day, being dirty every day, and getting used to it. You know, not even realize, hey, you're living in a pig's pen. It wasn't until I made a decision, hey, no more for this. I know there has to be a better way. And I remember there was a church up the street. And I know where my mother always said, you need to get Christ in your life. And I was like, nah, I'm living my life. Yeah, I was living my life in a pig's pen, but didn't realize it. But the moment that I was tired, I mean, down at my, just at my wit's end, didn't know what to do. I ran to that church. I ran to that church and gave my life to Christ. I wanted to be cleaned. I wanted to be washed by the blood of Jesus. And only I knew that only he, because I learned, he was the only one who could wash me clean. To get my mind set so I won't have, you know, be washed and still have the mindset of a pig. 
You know what I'm saying? I had to be totally washed clean. My mind had to be renewed. You know, you can't just take a pig, um, a pig and then put him in a, a tuxedo and a bow tie and expect him to, you know, to act accordingly. Oh, no. There's going to be some changes made. <laughs> and sometimes we can be pig-headed. <laughs> but anyway, so make a long story short. So what I wanted to bring forth in, in, in this talk is life's temptation is like a life lived in a pig's pen. Temptation led me to the pig's pen. Temptation kept me in the pig's pen. Temptation had me eating and consuming things that weren't healthy for me. They were just waste. It was just waste. And plus, I was wasting my time living in my own waste. So I had to make a decision. And when I did that, my life changed. I realized that God created me to be a man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord created me to do great things in his image with his authority and his power. He didn't create me to live my life just for myself, but to live my life and share the story of how I came to Christ, the goodness of Christ, what he did for me. And if he can do it for me, he can do it for anyone. And he will. And I believe that. That we can no longer live a life of temptation's pig's pen. Temptation will cause you to live a life in the pig's pen. That's my thought. And that's my belief. So I want to share my story with others, brothers. And I want you to be encouraged. Don't allow yourself to be tempted by temptation that will cause you to live in the pig's pen. I thank you, Lord. Lord, for saving me and taking me out of the the horrible pit out of the Maori clay. That's Psalms 40, verses 2 and 3. Taking me out of that. Taking me out of that lifestyle. Taking me out of the mud. Taking me out of the slop. You understand? <laughs> I'm no longer going to be in a pig's pen, confined. And I don't want that for you guys today. Try to think about it. Just where are you are. When we call out Adam, where are, where are you? Where are you today? Where are you today? Are you living? Your life in the pig's pen? Do you find yourself wallowing in the mud, in the waste of life? Are you consuming things that are not good for you? Are you partaking in it? Are you consuming it, taking it inside your body? You know, I want you to just think on those things. Don't live your life. Don't live life like you lived in a pig's pen. Life temptation. It's like life lived in a pig's pen. So my prayer for you today is, I pray the Lord will not withhold his tender mercies from you. Let his loving kindness in his truth continue to preserve you this day and forevermore. Amen. My brothers, I want you to have a great day today in the Lord. All right. And I encourage you to read Psalms 40, 11. Yeah. I wish you well, man. We are all in this together. It's very important that each man strengthen another brother. We need one another. We need Christ more. But it helps when you're walking alongside another brother and helping someone else. Extend your right hand. Help another brother to his feet. When you see that he's lost his way. God's a good God, a loving God. And remember, God loves you. And he desires to have a relationship with you. Not in your head put in your heart. Won't you make room for him today and have a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. When I first met you, I thought you would not accept someone like me. When I looked in my mirror, I saw my distorted reality. Living my life with missing pieces Like a puzzle Not knowing where the pieces could be Oh, when I looked in my mirror I see a distorted reality Of the life that I live But you accepted me Just as I was Clean me up And gave me you start, you put new wine into me And after you changed, you changed me completely